Hey guys, what's going on? James here, and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have made in what is, in my opinion, another high-level hire, bringing in Josh Grizzard as their passing game coordinator. Now, Josh Grizzard is a very, very smart guy. I mean, he graduated with a 4.75 GPA from Yale of all places, but taking the genius of Josh Grizzard aside and looking at his resume as a coach, there is a lot to like in this resume as well. Firstly, he started off his coaching career as a student assistant over at Yale, he then went on to be with Duke from 2013 to 2016 as a graduate assistant and quality control coach. He then got his start in the NFL with the Miami Dolphins. In 2017 and in 2018, he was the offensive quality control coach. In 2019, he was the full quality control coach of the team. In 2020 and 2021, he was the wide receivers coach. Then in 2022 and 2023, he reverted back to the quality control control coach. Important thing to make a note of here is that he was a part of multiple regimes with the Miami Dolphins. And that's not something that is new. We've seen that happen with coaches in the past where they are just part of multiple regimes whenever new offensive minded coaches or new offensive coordinators are brought in. They don't always want to replace the entirety of their offensive coaching staff. And in some cases, they want to have continuity with certain types of guys. Josh Grizzard was a part of that continuity there for the Miami Dolphins. And Look, folks, the Miami Dolphins have been pretty decent throughout Grizzard's time with the team. You take a look here. Grizzard was a part of four consecutive winning seasons with the Dolphins, accomplishing the feat for the first time since the club did so in seven straight seasons from 1997 to 2003. In 2020 and in 2021, when he was the wide receivers coach, you had a lot of success there with the Miami Dolphins as well. And really, the Dolphins have just been one of the more rising teams in the AFC the past few years, and Grizzard has been a part of that organization, has been a part of that coaching staff that has had that gradual rise to success that Miami is seeing today. He's a very young coach as well, only 33 years old. So this is a hire that I love for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I do. I think that Josh Grizzard is a future offensive coordinator in the NFL. It helps that he's been a part of, you know, some really successful colleges in Yale and in Duke, and then transitioning to the Miami Dolphins, being a part of multiple regimes, especially a Mike McDaniel regime as well, which I think he is a, a fantastic head coach. It does a lot to beef up the resume of Josh Grizzard and, and really set the table for him to you know, hopefully have a long career here as a coach at the NFL level. So this is a hire that I think is very underrated for the Bucs. I think getting a pass game coordinator and Josh Grizzard, a guy who just spent so much time with Mike McDaniel and the Miami Dolphins, an organization that has one of the top passing offense in the offenses in the entirety of the NFL is nothing but good for the Bucs. It really is. This is another really, really good hire, in my opinion. I think that Liam Cohen has been putting together a fantastic coaching staff overall between Josh Grizzard, the wide receivers coach from Georgia, Brian, um, you know, I can't remember his his uh, last name right now, but Brian, let's call him McClendon from Georgia, and some of the other hires that have been made with this offensive coaching staff. I really have been liking the offensive staff that the Buccaneers have been putting together. It's some young guys with a lot of potential who have still been a part of some really good organizations and have been able to do some really good things throughout their time, be it in college or in the NFL. So, this is another hire that I feel like falls right into that mix. I, again, think that Josh Grizzard, Josh Grizzard is a guy that does have a future in the NFL as an offensive coordinator one day, maybe even a head coach as well. Who the heck knows? But this is a good hire for the Bucs, in my opinion, 100%. What do you guys think about this? Let me know your thoughts and opinions about this down in the comment section below. I would love to hear it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed. And as always, guys, I'll see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now, and go Bucks.